Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be making a recipe out of the 101 Sandwiches uh, recipe book from 1902. It's uh, unusual. I need to actually cook something today to make the sandwich tomorrow, but you'll see it all in one video. And um, it's kind of weird. Okay, in order to make this sandwich, we need to pour in equal parts red wine and water. And then we add in sliced onion, peppercorns, salt, and parsley. And there's the where it gets kind of weird. Salmon. I'm to poach the salmon in this liquid and make a sandwich out of it tomorrow. Mmm. Salmon is cooked and it looks really, really gross. Um, but hey, we'll see how it tastes tomorrow. Okay, we're here in day two. Salmon is cooled and I'm supposed to mash it up with parsley. And of course there's no amounts given in the book. Vinegar. Shallots. Salt pepper, and what the book calls sweet oil, which I did some research and is actually olive oil. Mix that into a paste and put it on bread. Now, unlike the up-to-date sandwich book of 1909, 101 sandwiches from 1902 does not specify what kind of bread, nor does it call for butter. So here we go. Let's give this salmon sandwich from 101 sandwiches of uh, 1902 a go. It's actually pretty good with the vinegar and the parsley and the shallots. I'll be honest, when I saw that it was poached in red wine, I thought, no way, the salmon's going to be good. But the combination of all three actually works really well. Wow. Pleasant surprise. And lunch. <laughs> See you next time. Oh.